Good evening, traders. Welcome to episode 436 of the show. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. We're having a good time, enjoying things. But uh, XRP showing a little life. Bitcoin showing a little life. 5141 when we were just below 5,000 earlier as the day stream started. We pivoted off a low of the day of 4926. And here we are, just hit a high of 5156. So weekend warrior edition holds true. Please don't get over euphoric on the weekend on any kind of moves, really, right? Unless we're finishing up a trade setup on a bullish Gartley. Okay, then we can do it, man. But this particular situation, excuse me, uh, Bitcoin, it's holding above the 20 moving average. We, we don't have any positive momentum yet. We would expect some. We'd like to see some so we could make a better... Uh, analysis with the bearish divergence on the four hour but we don't have it yet so what we'd like to see is to see Bitcoin go higher like 4350 4450 if we get those highs we'll, we'll almost certainly get bearish divergence if we get that bearish divergence man that's going to give us a grander scope of vision for where we might be going next Ripple just uh, riding with the tide okay Thought we were bullishly engulfing here. Uh, less than an hour left, you know, less than an hour left. Down sloping resistance. Nope. Sorry. Not yet. You're trying though. Hey, valiant effort. You're giving attempts to bullishly engulf. You're giving attempts to break out of the bull pull potential bull pull bull flag combination. All right. Easy enough. How do you measure the bull pull bull flag? From the I use candle closes because it is the most it is the most uh, conservative of measure moves I don't use wicks I use the candle close so candle close to candle close wherever that ends okay if you get red then green again nope green to green for the most part from the breakout a bull pull bull flag measure move in this context would yield us 40 cents slightly above the 618 you might even think about saying I don't even believe that I'll just deal with 39.7 cents I'll be happy with that Okay. That's it, dude. Okay, that's XRP to BDC. The argument for potential bull pull bull flag. You uh, impulse up and then you downslope your consolidation from a low to high. You're hitting a 50% retrace. People that uh, are bots, whatever, have the thought process of, oh, wow. Ripple just made a 50% retrace from a bullish impulse. Hey, 50% sale on Ripple. So it's like, Value is there. There's potential value for people to accumulate their position so we could ride the tide to the upside again. And again, the upside measurement is around 39 to 40 cents. That's it, dude. That's XRP to USD. Now, if this failed, not all hope is lost. Don't even think about it, man. So from, you know, a beginning, a low to a high, X, A, B, C, if things suck and don't work out, from 
this low point to high point, we'd fib. We'd be looking for a 78% retrace to potentially go long. Because it could be a some sort of a cipher if you use the wicks. All right, so don't give up, man. Don't give up on Ripple. Ripple might be Kang soon. Yes, it might be actual Kangs. Okay, enjoy the sights and the sounds of the Aurora Borealis. Is that what it is? The Northern Lights, the harmonics, the bottomless harmonics, like bottomless champagne, but bottomless Kangs on highly reliable patterns in this live stream on a Saturday night with your beer or your marijuana, whatever your weapon of choice is. I've just got a double hearted IPA. Not bad, man. I've had a good week. Real good week. A lot of analysis, a lot of trades, a lot of stuff. And now we're here to celebrate. We're here to have a good time with each other. Issue uh, it was the bearish divergence on Ripple, New dollar on both oscillators. But to the extent of how far we retrace is always unknown. Uh, the more significant the time scale, maybe the heavier the drop. There was no daily divergence. But the four hour di divergence was there. But we're pivoting at a 20 moving average and a 50% retrace from the low to high. So if this was it, then we can start building positive momentum again. It'd be wonderful. That's what we'd be looking for. All right. Bullish impulse. Set the tone for the consolidation. Consolidation being down sloping and is very healthy. Okay. The Zimmin. Holy crap. Wow. Sorry. Dude, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. In the midst of something. Long before the stream. Okay, hold on. Look, we analyzed Ripple, dude. We did it, man. We did it. We are kings because we analyzed Ripple pretty, pretty deeply. All right. Pretty profoundly. And okay, well, let's go on over to XRP to BTC. Keep people appeased. Well, I do something, all right? Okay, so not so not going so well, huh? The down some consolidation continues to sell off, but you're pivoting. You're pivoting, man. God, good God, man. Hold, hold on. Whoa, inverse head and shoulders, man. Oh, here we go, dude. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> sorry, dude, I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Look, man. I stream twice a day, okay? Like seven days a week. I make videos. Like, give me a sec. I'm sorry. Okay? That's it. That's all I can say to you. <laughs> Sean B, thanks for joining House Armada, man. Kings, dude. Welcome. Okay, sorry. Seriously, I mean, like, what do you want from me? Like, I just... When things are hot, they're hot, okay? Anyway, so, yeah, exactly. I don't want to lose my positive momentum, okay? I can't do it. I can't lose my positive momentum on certain things in life. So, uh, uh inverse head and shoulders, man. Left shoulder, you're holding support here, but you're, every time you run up, you're just scrubbing out below the 50 moving average. Okay, equilibrium zone, not good. 
you got to break the 50 moving average. You have to. At least we didn't touch it and fail. So, I don't know. Bullish average played out, but you've already sold off and lost about, what, 62 to 78% of your gains? Yep, right around 78% of your gains, which was 68, 69. We went as low as 69, 01. All right, before pivoting a little bit, but... Okay, man. So this is like best left to the daily. All right. Don't worry about <laughs> the Rudy Poo in between. Because you've got to respect the daily bullish engulfing candle on extremely high levels of volume at extremely critical areas of support. Not just one, but two, but three supports. What are you talking about, Ray? How can you have three supports? Low to high, 60% retrace. X to C. Gets me every time. 88.6% retrace, you see it, 88.6, and then the horizontal line supports to me back from March 22nd, 2018, three different supports, okay, converging supports, confluence supports, the crossing of two rivers, the crossing of two rivers, or three rivers at this, that makes sense, three different river crossings with a bullish engulfing candle with high volume. And you were at all-time lows on RSI. So, this one might require patience. I'm telling you. The swing trading is not day trading. This is not how movies and pop culture portray it. One must be patient. One must be kings. All right. XRP to USD. XRP to BTC. <sighs> anyway. Sorry, y'all. Life is life. So Blue Marriott coming in at 4 a.m. Thanks for being here, man. Holy crap. It's uh, super late, super early. It's a big at night, KW. Go to Jog Man into the Little Wood. Rabbit Hole Research, 808, pumping. Random pumping. Crypto Cracker Man. Hello? Am I coming soon? Come on, dude. Do we really have to this early? I feel so good! Come on, dude. Stop making it too easy. Too easy, man. Hey, Mr. Sha hey, Mr. Schaffer. It is ready. Five, five, five. I don't think it's completely finished. I think it's a smoother, rough draft. But take a shot anytime you want. If you like it. Let me know if you want changes made. Give me literal verbiage on what kind of changes you'd like to the emoji ball, the 555, the Morpheus coin. Whew. Okay, thanks. ETC doing things, Claudia. What's up, dude? We are looking at it earlier, right? Looking at it earlier, we were on our way to that measured move, but the 200-day moving average loomed. Not loom coin. Look at that. Hey, Crypto Angels. He says his like, like one's his number one pick. Are, well, it's hopefully it was before all the craziness. Bitcoin, 51.55, uh, beginning to bullishly engulf the previous red candle that we saw, the big red candle. Not bad, man. If we want to, we can go take a look. Take a look, man. Montana, man. Is that a joint? High side target for XRP. What says you? 40 cents. 40 cents on the dot. 39.7 cents also viable. If we're talking XRP to USD. Thanks, Montana, man, for the 420, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, Mon can't, Montana, do you like that, dude? Do you see the harmonics, man? There's floating in space, dude. And I'm going to get I'm gonna get him more harmonics. And we're going to have... Ooh, I'm going to try to get every single harmonic behind chat. It will be so freaking lit, dude. Chandler did a wonderful job on the fades, fade ins, and fade outs of that. And I'm just, uh, I love it, man. Freaking love it. Let me know if that helped. Dude, it, it, again, man, it was like bull pull, bull flag measure moves, a little over 40 cents. But then you could say 39.7 cents because that's a 618 golden retrace, right? But then again, it's like, dude, Montana, if you are at those levels, you have to understand, like, we are outside of an extremely large structure that we had been in since October and September. So that might just be nothing. 
if it is a true bullish breakout and that is yet to be unfolded that that type of uh that time and event has not unfolded yet and so it is no wonder why we're struggling so hard because it is literally the wall man it is westeros it is like the the humans are fighting so hard on xrp to keep the night king and the undead out that is what we're fighting against right now xrp us dollar tether pair okay it's that extreme dude they're they're going all out and they're all united okay here's our daily well 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 bullish engulfing candle be danged spinning top be spinning tops here we go 51.44 let's go to the four hour let's check it out man oh boy right we got that uh pennant or symmetrical triangle it's pretty much a pennant okay you got two down sloping trend lines or you got one down sloping trend line one up sloping trend line okay and so it's pretty much a channel and a triangle or pennant the heart line was quite well respected was it not as a resistance last time if we can close above 5150 or so it will be a confirmed bullish engulfing candle but there's 40 minutes left on this lifespan candle lifespan it's a java man love you all thanks mr c mr jalen man mr java thanks you dude all right it almost looks like a video game controller i know but it's small but it's morpheus coin but dude we can do whatever you want this is what jalen picked he liked the i mean I don't know, I was saying I wanted like multicolors and stuff like that. So it's taken like each, there's these little sections of the Morpheus coin and it makes each one change colors differently. And so that's really what happened. So there's your Morpheus, man. Thank you, dude. Your signature in the jar, dude. Gangs. And for now, until I get it fixed, $6.90 is a literal hurricane. And it was an old scrapped emoji ball i paid for long ago it just didn't didn't pan out so it's just sitting there until we fix whatever until we get a verge emoji ball we're just gonna leave it as the hurricane all right that's it so anyway would love to see some bullish divergence so we can be more confident about what could happen next right now all we did we were just bounced on the 20 ma giving reason to believe a lot of rejection to lower prices meaning it we aren't done on a move up and the top of this channel is around 5,500. Or if you go even further up, moving target, 5,580. Even get to 5,600 at certain points way over here. It'd be like April 10th at that point. So that's it, man. That's uh, Bitcoin greening up just a little bit. I'm sure some of y'all are too. All right. Anyway. Read some more chats. We're analyzing things. We're doing things. Wow. I don't even know where I'm at now. Holy crap. Bottomless Kings, Miss Cantoma. That's it, dude. Soto Dolo. Thanks so much for joining House Harmonic. Welcome. So, Mr. Singh. Podcast Alano. What's up, the first Halo 3 junk, dude? Good to see you again. Oh, the beeswax. Vic at night. Just saying he hello to all the people's Ace G man. Good question you had earlier. Hopefully you got the response. There's Chalen himself. Chalen, the harmonic stuff looks great, dude. I gotta throw some more at you, though, so we can get it all up in there. ETC number three. Oh my god, please don't trigger me. Good god. No breathing on stream? What? Can y'all hear me breathe? <sighs> What's up, Mitch Gray coming in from Straya? We fly high as back, man. Good to see you. Just like Litecoin, it's coming. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. Check BTC. XHB. Nah, dude. No thanks. Never. Thanks, KW, man. Oh, it's Digin, man. 
Back from his birthday with the pops. What do you think for Bitcoin? You sold at 5180 this night. Waff, do you think for Bitcoin USD? Spin dizzy. Thanks for joining us tomorrow night. Welcome. What do I think? Uh, well, if I tell you what I think, will you promise not to make a move based on it? Because I don't have enough data on my four hour time scale or daily time scale to, to give you the best. So this is not like something where, okay, man, we're going long literally right here, right now. Like, dude, no, that's not how it works. Okay. So I'll tell you what I would think would make the most sense is we break this to the upside and hit the top of the channel. We were already establishing it. The upslope and crap. Point one and two and three on the bottom, one on the top. Heartline respect now, earlier today. Even before we respected it, we had it plotted. And what I'm saying is we break the upside, we show bearish divergence, and then we break down bearishly at around 5450 or 5500. Okay. That's it. That's what would make a lot of sense, a ton of sense. Is that cool, dude? What's up, UK man? UK, it's like 4 a.m. over there. What you doing, homie? Hey, Fizzon. Coming on Twitch. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, Meowgi. Mr. Meowgi. Meow on, meow off. That's how it goes, right? Hey, Rendingo, dude. How you doing, Rendingo? Thanks for being here. There's Phil Centura. Are you feeling lucky? Huh? I have a plaid sweater on my beer what kind of beer are you drinking phil sorry just getting through this hey sean hunter welcome back man good to see you are we about to get wrecked loco no nah, dude i don't think so not just randomly gonna get wrecked dude okay you make his world yeah, we looked at XRP or, or XVG earlier today. I guess we can check it out again, I think. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we looked at it. Nothing wrong with looking again. Okay. If you want to see Ethereum, check out my static video I did. It was about seven minutes, a deep analysis of Ethereum. Okay. Verge Connect. Oh, Verge Connect. Been holding strong, man. Been holding strong about this moving average. Wow. Let's go to that daily real quick. The daily is nice. Pretty nice anyway. And though it can obviously fail, it always can fail. There is a downsloping resistance. Very apparent. Very evident right here. Uh, bullet. I mean, that uh, momentum just high, to slightly higher high, lower levels, positive momentum. That kind of sucks. You're just holding neutral on the RSI. Look at the volume that picked up. We are, we are about 90 plus percent of the way through the maturation or development of this pattern, right? I mean, this is the low to high of the triangle. You can see the triangle has been created. Price contraction's almost done. And the volume, well, I guess the, well, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of been receding. You can clearly see receding volume at the very, very end. So definitely some sort of calm before the storm occurring. With the greater the upside or downside, you would expect uh, some sort of nice move to the upside based on the context of what we're looking at. Let's flip this thing over so you can say, no, it can't be. It can't be. Verge Connect can't break to the upside ever, dude. Well, you realize it's only been doing nothing but selling off. For an entire literal year okay you haven't even made like a major retrace yet not even once dude on verge yeah, for good reason to come on Pornhub and all the crap good hearts you know on the project okay that that is extremely bearish if you look at it this way all we did is inverse the chart a huge run up making these you know we just can't quite get to the all-time high 46 sats right we can't quite get there just stalling now we're making lower highs than our previous highs when all we've been doing for a year is making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows straight up dude this thing is ready 
This thing is ready to go, man. <laughs> There's a lot of thunder going on right now. Okay, it sounds really cool. But yeah, dude, that's just context for you. That's a way to get some perspective on an asset. It's just inversing the chart. Ah, it makes more sense. It's not as crazy anymore when we look at it that way. There's Verge Connect. Are we cool, man? I think we are. Dude, where am I at on chat? I don't even know anymore. It's all bugged out. Uh, no, Monsters Kim, I do not go long at 5,500. No. What? How did you get that from what I was saying? That's literally the inverse. Looking you? What? Couldn't be worse than the great dumping in November? Nope. It couldn't. And we, we actually tried. Uh, the market tried pushing the prices down more, but you could see the scrubbiness of the attempt, right? Is that a joint? Maybe I'm just dumb on it. XVG slash BTC chart XRP slash BTC had that same triangle and dumped just saying or thinking. XRP to BTC had a triangle like this, right? Uh, well, XRP to BTC, no, I don't remember a triangle. I remember XRP to USD had a triangle, kind of like that, and it sold off, right? It wicked, and I think you got your entry. If this was XRP to USD, I think this was like 31.5 cents. You said you got in some, you had some at 33, right? It wicked down, hit the support, and then bounced back up, right? And it's still like struggling, but it's a much different, I guess it's a different situation. There was the small triangle, then there was the much greater triangle, remember on XRP. Uh, and so it doesn't matter, right? Because at the end of the day, it's like you keep taking low risk. Dude, this is extreme, <laughs> extremely low risk. Think about if you could, I don't think you can even do it, but think about trying to take a short position on an asset like this that is literally broken out of a downsloping structure it had been in for over like since January of 2018 and it's showing lower highs now and it couldn't quite make the all-time high it like is stalling at like an 88% retrace from this from the way down there low to high right it just it's a low risk opportunity right so when you get low risk opportunities you keep taking them because it's all about the numbers game it's like you keep doing it over and over and over and you will win right so doesn't even matter if it dumps, man, because you get stopped out, you move on to the next thing. And there's a lot of other things out there that are promising. This is just one of them. You know, like, uh, what was it? Uh, C and D. Dude, there have been so many that have looked almost identical to this. They're setting up for higher prices, but if they don't go to higher prices, again, who cares? Dude, it's the lowest risk we've seen in 15, 13, 14 months, right? So there you go. Thanks, Montana man for the 420 contribution. Kings, dude. So broad Santos, man. Flano, your beer? Yeah. That's right, dude. And all I just lost on my chat. I don't even know, dude. I think I'm behind. Uh, that's like the LA girls that put 15k Louis Vuitton and Chanel sweaters on their dogs. There we go, baby. Jeez, man, I don't even know. I'm definitely not focused. I'm definitely like kind of off kilter right now. Okay. Is the channel mature enough to really post the solid resistance if we get a strong breakout on BTC to the upside? Yeah, probably. It probably is, at least for a little bit. I mean, 
it's being respected on the bottom side. The heart line's being respected, so why would the top side not be respected? And, and what happens if you hit that and you start showing bearish divergence and you break the upside? Dude, it's all about, like, we know 5,800 is the only real resistance above us at this point. There's not, I mean, maybe 55 something is a really scrubby resistance, but uh, we're doing all we can, Kiki, with the small amount of data we have. And that's like what I've been trying to articulate to people, but people are just like, I need answers now. You do, TA, tell me now. It's like, well, you should have been here two months ago, man. And you'd know exactly where we thought we'd go. And here we are at the areas we thought we'd be at. So it's just like, that's just not, that's not how it works. Okay. What's up, Henry Hine? Tracker Capper, hello. Hey, Sean Coons. XRP for me likes XRP, really? You don't say, man. Yeah, I've got uh, the crypto tips I get. I don't, I don't like sell them. Okay, we fly high. And that's a way of sticking it to the man. All right. So if you send me a crypto tip, it just like just stays there in the account. Verge needs to make realistic connections. Stop effing with Bodegas in Burma. What? You know more about this S coin than me, man. All right. Somebody help me focus, man. I'm like, it's like I didn't have my tea or my coffee this evening. So it's like, just tougher. Coffee's like my life force, man. My TA life force. And I'm drinking beer. All right. It's my bed. Saturday night, though, dude. I shouldn't even be here. That's right, Greg. Give me answers now. You talking about Columbia Sleegman Premium? Is that what you're talking about, dude? Thanks. Sir Fishing for Morgan, Alabama. Good to see you, dude. He says, someone please build me a time machine so that I can go back in time and buy 100,000 Bitcoin. Yes, me too. Don't forget about me, Sir Fishing for Morgan, Alabama. If you find someone, let me know. All right. Uh, I don't think, Greg, I don't think anyone here thinks Tron's an actual legit project. No, Greg, probably not. But, hey, we do love the meme. We do love it. It's hilarious. <sighs> what an evening. What an evening. I'm about to get another beer because I don't even care. I just don't care been a long week man and i'm just uh, having a good time all right this is what you get with a 20 this is what you get for with a streamer who streams seven days a week even on the weekends okay it doesn't take breaks yeah no breaks dude high energy kind of drunk energy soon be right back sorry everything's gonna be okay man remember if it's like 
pretty much twice a day that I stream, then it's like literally 14 live streams a week you can catch me. So if you're catching me on a Saturday night, mm, you know. Oh my god, it's going to be a little bit different dynamic and atmosphere, for me anyway, than it would be on a Monday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, right? So. Thanks, Alan, Alan G, man. I don't know why. You, when you said you love the beer fridge, you made me look back like, is the beer fridge open? Okay. So there's Verge Connect. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, Connect. Let's go back to Hot, because Hot was still just right there, man. Right there. Come on, Hot. Stop being so not hot. All the makings of a varsity athlete on this one. This is a great potential trade setup if you're at the S coin trader. Okay, if you love the the pundies, if you love the other ones, nanos, the I don't know, all of them. Hot might be for you. It might be. Where we're at the bottom trend line of an upsloping channel. We are making very, very nice bullish divergence on the daily. And I believe on the four hour, we also have bullish divergence. So you've got all these coinciding variables right here. 25 sat entry on the trade setup. Targets 35, 38, and 45 sats. Hot connect. Just letting it be there. Just so you see it. Big brother, little brother. Wow. Hey, Mobius man. Digital asset asset conductor. Good to see you, dude. Thanks for making it back. When will one verge buy you Pornhub? Probably never. We fly high. Houseism. Thanks for joining House tomorrow, man. Can't do it. Welcome. Hey, Bonsai fan. Singularity net. Uh, agility coin. Well, it's been in an uptrend longer than most altcoins have been in an uptrend to the BTC pair and it's kind of falling out now not going too well man hmm yeah dumping it's uh, I think it's about over I think it's about over we gave it a shot but invalid harmonic it almost took off man but the wedge dead dead wedge we could just look at this on the daily, man. And you tell me we're now below, and this is it, man. Something that goes on a run from September of 2018 to up until about March of 2019. That's a long extended run. And this market, that is a few times more than what you could ever hope for. So agility coin below the 200-day moving average. Very, very bad. We've never been below it because it was <laughs> no data until now. Oh, we didn't get any data until the December 21st, 2018, whatever. So here it is. We bounced off it once and spiked, and now here we are below it and using it as resistance. Very, very bad. No, All bearish. Huge amount of negative momentum, and you're very weak on the RSI around 32. Close to oversold, but not quite, man. So very, very bad looking stuff going on Angie on the cusp of reversing the trend it was in cup with Endelman triangle ascending triangle measure move hit then crazy bounce then dump so not good on Angie since you ask okay bonsai fan that was for you Trunk connect. Chat connect, because YouTube chat. Like, it, it'll, like... Oh, my God. It's hard not to complain about it, because it just does... It just pushes everything down. I don't even know where I'm at on chat. Hello, bio cards. Welcome to chat. Welcome to the stream. Vergus Games, good to see you, brother man. Sure thing, Mr. Shaver, dude, always. 
Oh, Kang Lego Man, you got a drink, dude. You got a drink, man. All right, sorry. What? Oh, wow, nice. What is that, Bradford? Well, he's already, he's not here. He's drinking some crazy whiskey. What is that? Blanton's? What is this, chat? I don't know what that is. It looks incredible. It's some sort of whiskey, man. Anyone notice the bottle? Blanton's? The original single, I can't remember. I can't read that. Bourbon something. Foggy words, wow. Holy crap. Fudding Wedge? You like when a good buy at 93 bucks? Uh, probably not, man. What is House Harmonic? We are here. You're here. This is, that's the name of our house, of our castle. House, House Stark, House Lannister, House Harmonic. Dude. What's up, James I? What? Fireworks? Are you kidding me, dude? Already? Y'all are incredible. Boom. There it is, man. The fireworks. For ye. Blanton's. Okay, it is Blanton's. Gotcha. A lot of folks are going to start begging for me to do some TA on their streams, man. Don't do it. But you can't. Dude, I don't. I never, ever get people request that. Ever, dude. I don't think people even care. I don't even think people, like, care about TA enough even it doesn't matter how well versed you are in the technical analysis world like their audience doesn't care and they're not going to listen all right there's no thanks right so that's why I've not gotten any requests to get be on someone else's stream or maybe I'm just terrible so why did the pump stop it's literally Saturday night space header Traders have lives too. Trading desks around the world are closed up until Monday. Even in Asia, yeah. Oh yeah, a cool stallion top for the topper. Can't believe Bradford would hide it. It looked like he intentionally hid the top the stopper or the topper, right? Well we've uh, we've talked, Box Mining and me have been talking. He wants to do like an in person collaboration, but uh, you know, he's in LA for a while, but dude, getting back out there, man, it's extremely expensive, dude. It's like Like I'm not even kidding, dude. It was like seven hundred dollars a ticket. If I wanted to be out there next week, I guess as long as he's gonna be out there, thousand dollars one way. One way. Not even talking about lodging, ridiculous, dude. It's like completely irrational. So, yeah. But I told him, well, you know, we'd be happy to do any kind of collaboration, virtual collaboration, right? Unique as world, we've seen GBT like that before. What's up, Michael K, dude? You having a beer with me? Thanks, man. Enjoy it, dude. This sips for, for you, Michael, okay? Uh, Michael K. Well, Michael K, Michael Connie too. So we got two Michael K's in the, in the house, dude. Wow. Holy crap. Not really digging the song, dude. Do the record screech, right? Record screech, dude. like whatever dude okay I'm about to just turn on the station dude all right hold on I'm gonna do that two sec yeah dude Bitcoin has got 12 minutes left of the four-hour candle close and we are not bullishly engulfing right now we're close but no cigar oh my god all the country we played yesterday <clears throat> We bled so much country, man. Mm. 
Okay. This is why most streamers don't have music, because it's just like copyright and it's a hassle. It's it's work, man, alright? I can play Digital Underground, man. Well, dude, there's there's uh Michael Kelly, dude. Oh my god, we have three Michael K's, dude. Three MKs. MK1, MK2, MK3. Welcome, all the MKs in the house. Big freaking deal, man. That's awesome. Hey, La to Vegas. LA to Vegas. 300 plus miles or something, right? Hey, Chi. There you go, Christopher Harris talking to a digital asset conductor. Bring that high energy, that Kang energy. Take over the world, man. In Vegas. All right, so anyway, uh, hot connect. go in US dollar what do you mean how can they go in US dollar it's all it's all satoshis man we're in the Bitcoin pair and not really looking great man I mean I guess it's okay you'd expect a spring to the upside here but you can stall out as long as it needs to this is big big time okay you gotta remain patient on the bullish divergence man you gotta gotta be patient anyway MK DJ yep How's Bat Connect doing? Yeah, you know, well, sold off of that first target. That's what we get first targets, but it's still completely, completely fine. Like, still poised to run to the upside again. Be patient on hot. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a oxymoron. So uh, really, bat has. Let's go to the daily real quick and give you context because I guess we've forgotten about giving context. So yeah, potential huge inverse head and shoulders. Looks pretty nice. You broke out. You broke this crazy overhead resistance, and something happened. Right, we ran as high as oh my god, all time highs. Right, when we sold off, we bounced off this area that was once a powerful resistance. We used it as support. When I saw that, and I saw the potential uh, bullish shiver pattern, I was like, okay, and the 20-day moving average, we stayed above it. I thought to myself, man, it's kind of like EOS, right? Where we broke support and we're now using it, or we broke resistance, now we're using it as support. And we've got all these other things going on. Not bad. And I think the 60-minute has a little divergence down here. But we broke it. Look, with the high to low, the entry pretty much hit between the 1618 and the 786. You hit it. And you've run up in the from the high to low, you've hit the 382, which is 6276. The second target is 6737. So we would like to see a higher low, which it looks like we're getting. We just bullishly engulfed. We'd like to run up and eventually hit that that target. And that second target and third target is between 7262 and 7485 up here. Alright. So Wait. 
You believe in hot in the long term? Is that true? Is it worth believing in hot? Holocon? Holocon. Oh. Stream glitching on Twitch. It might be glitching. Again. Glitchy. Dang, man. Okay, I'll tell you the story. What happened, man? Dude, I opened up OBS, and it's like, hey, would you like to update? And I said, no, I don't want to update right now. And it's all glitchy. It reset all my settings to glitchy, and it has something to do with the encoding, and I don't know what it is, and I'm sorry about all the glitches. I just... Dude, this is literally the life of a streamer, man. A streamer that, that like, does it, like, for real. Like, isn't just some... Hey, I have one little box with no overlay, with nothing, right? Just, okay, hi... Right with high production streamer, dude. This is this is what happens like every day. There's always one stupid thing that stops working. Always. Okay, you. It's a rare occurrence when you go a week without something just randomly essing itself. Okay, I'm about. I can't. I can't make it stop. And it's just gonna keep coming. It'll just keep revolving around s ups. Whatever screw ups. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's glitching. I know it's glitching. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. I, I tried fixing it. I'm going to have to get my, my buddy over. To do it. Dude, I'm, I'm talking like I, I can't do anything right now. While I'm live, there's nothing I can do. But thank you, Vizon King. Is it really that bad? I mean, if it's that bad, I'll just, I can cut the stream. Yeah, to 1080 Ti's SLI. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the drawbacks of complexity, exactly, dude. It never stops those issues. That's right, better, hey, better, 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 swing, trade, better, 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 yes, Roger Hill, fantastic, dude, a new meme. Did y'all catch that at all, anyone? That's beautiful, dude. Nice one, Roger, man. Very, very, that's like Kang Logan probes level wit right there, man. Beautiful. Thank you, family. Much love, man. Much love, dude. Really appreciate that. Back connected. Back connect. We'll see if a uh, second, third target can get hit. First one's done. All right. Under the sun. Back connect. Beautiful though, man. That's just big time, dude. That's that's uh, game busters. All right. Game busters. Game busters. Beautiful. Maybe I should do it just for the sake of doing it. Okay. Actually, give me two seconds. So a little education. I guess we can just reiterate it. This is the third time I'm doing this, like ever, I think. So whatever. It's kind of it. All right. So we'll talk about class A, class B, class C divergence. If you're new in here, there's 250 people here. So maybe one or two people will get something out of this. All right. And then it's all out of order. But let's look at class A divergence first. Okay. And this is all bearish divergence. You could flip this over bullish divergence, but 
Grand Growth bearish. So Class A bearish divergence. This is your price action up here, okay? So when you make a high on price on your oscillator down here, right? your RSI, your MACD, you'll make a higher level of relative strength or a higher level of, or a high level of positive momentum, right? It like responds with the price, but then you'll sell off. You'll sell off in the oscillator. But then when you run up again and you start making higher highs than your previous high on price, you would make a lower level of positive momentum or relative strength on your oscillator. And that is class A bearish divergence. And what class A bearish divergence says is it is impending price action reversal to the downside. And it is your strongest form of divergence. It gives you the best argument, but never use divergence alone. You would use other variables that would coincide like a bearish pattern or a critical resistance at with bearish divergence, right? That's class A. Class A, higher high on price, lower levels of positive momentum relative strength. Okay, class B bullish divergence is when you double top on price and on that second high, you make a lower level of positive momentum or a lower level of relative strength. It also, class B also signifies in, impending price action reversal to the downside. It is also bearish. So double top with bearish divergence, man, you better expect lower prices. That's it. Class C, oops. Class C bearish divergence is your weakest form and your only your last form. This, this is all classic, okay? Classic divergence. There's hidden divergence too. So class C bearish divergence is when you make a higher high on price, but you double top on the oscillator. And that just mean that does not mean impending price action reversal. That actually means stagnation in momentum, stagnation in relative strength. So this could continue on up and, and keep flying, but uh, you just take note of it. If you have a bunch of bearish uh, indicators along with the divergence, the classy divergence, you might have more argument and reason to believe we would sell off, which we've done before. Okay. So class A, class B, and class C, bearish divergence explained. If you're enjoying this live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Oh my God, it's Saturday night. I'm drinking and I'm educating on divergencies. All right. That's it, man. Whatever. Are we cool? No. Anyway. Whew. Yeah, that's a good uh, point, David Joseph. It's uh, he's not saying Brave is bad, but he's saying he's skeptical that the world would leave Chrome and switch to Brave. And then track a cap says brave is chrome or is it yeah <laughs> i don't think it literally is but hello melissa she's here melissa down melissa how would you use people's persevering through the flooding and the bridges the scrub bridges sweet pop and i shall glad you like it you enjoy it all right Uh, Raven, sorry, Jeremy Calhoun. You think you missed uh, missed out on Ravencoin blasted off? I think that you're from the time time machine, dude. All right, that's it. Is it good for t smaller time frames? Just like everything else in this world of trading, the slower the time scale, the more significant it's going to be. So the more reliable it it very well will be. Bogged on off. Okay, pump it, dump it. All right. What minute mark is this? This is uh, one hour and two minutes into the stream. 102. Damn it, Java man with a bye bye bye. I'm repeating for Thanks, I love IT. You love IT? Are you a computer guy, Mr. Chef? I know you are, dude. Thanks, dude. Good contribution. Bitcoin class B right now? No, Bitcoin really is kind of terrible. Uh, Bitcoin is making the same high as its previous high with no positive momentum, but. We may not be done yet. I don't think we are. I think a break to the upside would eventually yield us that class A bearish divergence that we covet, that we seek. All right. Okay.
<clears throat> okay. Anyway. So again, thanks so much for all the people here. Uh, I see that 250 people are here, so it's just happy. I'm happy that at least if uh, one or two people maybe learned something here, we'd be good, right? Very cool. Grow the beard. Uh, well, I was saying, I wouldn't stop growing my beard. Oh, also the four-hour candle has closed. So let's do the local on the eights, right? Okay, local on the eights. Oh my God, we did it, man. So, uh, yeah, Bitcoin has, uh, just sitting at 51.35 right now. It did not bullishly engulf, unfortunately. It, it failed like a scrub. It really did. But, dude, it's the Weekend Warrior edition, man. No trading desks are open right now. They're not open. So, what do you want from me, man? It looks like on the graph, the deeper the dip, the more likely the resulting price rise will fail to hold. What Roger Hill are you talking about, man? Okay. Are we looking for a famous sell-off Sunday? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I don't think we have the data, first off, to make real good assumptions about where we're going on Bitcoin. But uh, straight up, man, it's... <clears throat> I think I would like to see us break to the upside to make... Look, we already have... Let's just go to Bitcoin, I guess, right? Let's just go look at it. Sorry, wrong chart. My bad. Coinbase. Coinbase. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, right. So, we got the pennant or triangle developing the higher lows, the lower highs. So, price contraction is real right now after the huge impulse. And we're about uh, 75 to 80% of the way through the maturation of this pattern. And we're holding with a 20 moving average, which is pretty strong, but uh, not able to bullishly engulf. But really good to see at least that we combated this nasty red candle that was scaring everybody earlier with just some, you know, back to neutral, I guess. Okay, so right now sitting at 51.34, up 1.69%. What do you even care about? It's Saturday. Enjoy life. At least we're developing some pattern because we didn't have the data before. But hey, you know how it went before, man. Who even cares about any of this stuff that happens in between this impulse and this impulse, this move, right? It's, of course, it's still going, man. But dude, who cares, man? We called this 44.22 to 52.31 range for like two plus months. So we're good. Sorry. So, right, I mean, like, the bullish engulfing candle at least uh, manifested into some higher prices, I guess, temporarily. But still below the 5231 area, which is what? The golden retrace or the golden pocket. Evidently, I didn't know this until recently. There's something called the golden pocket, which is between the 61.8% retrace and the 65% retrace, which I guess is exactly where we wait to, 5340 so, like, who even cares, man? Doesn't even matter. So, yeah, man, this, of course, could continue on. Oscillators giving us nothing. Still extremely overbought. Still back to great FOMO, of tw great FOMO levels. You know, 2017, December 2017, 86 on the RSI. Extremely high amounts of positive momentum now. That's great. Holding on to it very well, it seems. Volume, obviously, tapered off, but we all know about the volume. On Bitcoin, right? 95% is fake. It's like, okay, man. That's great. Volume is really... So so we we do take volume with a grain of salt on this market. That's a common known thing now. So it's not the... But the thing is, would we ever truly only rely on volume to begin with? No, because we don't do that here. We all rely on coinciding variables. So if there's high volume on an impulse up... And before you had all these other things like this bullish divergence, you had broken out of a down slipping channel. You had not made proper retraces from a November 7th high to December 15th low, right? 
all these other things with the volume makes it okay, right? It just strengthens your case or your argument for why we might break the upside. And everything's about arguments. Being able to explain yourself with technical analysis, that's the way you're going to trade. Okay. So if you come in screaming, Bitcoin's going to pump, Bitcoin's going to dump, but there's literally no argument. I mean, there's no technical analysis behind what you're saying. There is no argument. Therefore, it's invalid. Everything you say is completely invalid and you'll get yourself banned here because you're like screaming fire, fire in a movie theater, right? You can't do that. You can, but there are consequences for saying that, right? Bitcoin continue to move up, up 2.25%, 51.63. We're looking at the daily right now. Okay. Okay, man, 5231, got to break it. We've attempted twice to get above it, and guess what? Bitcoin, there's absolutely no resistance besides some scrub wicks. And one candle close at 5526. I guess we'll we'll plot that. We'll have that there. All right, 5526. And, and dude, I'm telling you, if you like don't consolidate, like if this is it on a daily time scale, man, and you run up to wicks like or candle closes like that, that's gonna act as some sort of resistance, man. It, it really will. Okay. Holy crap. Chat, what are y'all doing? Seriously. Auger for Chris Hansen Jr. Okay. Not bad, man. Not bad on Auger, dude. Hey. Remember, though? Remember, I think, uh... Oh, it feels so good! Hater can't sleep. Lowell, can you look at Snap short term? After market seemed to pump a little. Uh, yeah. Oh, you just came in. You just came into the equation and derailed the auger. We're going to look at that. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm a little distracted right now. <laughs> snap, Snapchat, dude. Oh, my God, dude. We're going to snap. We're going to chat. We're going to send D pics. That's what we're going to do. That's going to be our main source of revenue for the company, d picks. Every time someone sends a d pick, we gain $1 billion. All right. Give me a sec. Yeah, bring to the upside like crazy. Been beaten down, battered, destroyed, right? Social Media Connect. Well, dude, you tell me, dude. You tell me. Seriously, dude. Come on, we haven't looked at this in a minute. Give me a break, dude. Mitch Wilson re Crypto Kaido Joe. Shaping the minds of all Nutella investors. Liv TA from Greenbow, Alabama. Would you please check BNB? 1974, 1975, 1985. Here are some threes three 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 Good Lord, what's up, Potter Man? Lord, help me PLS with Nano slash BTC charts. Thanks, man. Yo, look at Nano. Nano Connect. Well, we looked at earlier. Hold on. Goodness gracious, all right? Goodness gracious. What kind of world do we live in? It's a great one. It's a real good one. <sighs> With Snapchat. Breaking out of a falling wedge pattern. The golden zone has been hit. We've had this plotted for how freaking long, man? And here we are revisiting it. And we are at 1184. We have hit the golden zone between 1112 and $15. Gmail 2x, thanks for following on Twitch, man. Kangs, welcome. Just give me a break, dude. Give me a break. Rimlog, if he was here, he would be like, oh my god. 
Was it MK? Who was the last person that asked me to analyze this? I mean, here's your falling wedge. Here's your breakout. Here's your complex, somewhat complex, kind of like semi-complex, slanted inverse head and shoulders pattern broke out of it, broke out of the wedge and the small pattern and gapped up on high volume breakaway gap probably with the volume involved, probably a breakaway gap. Golden cross on the daily now, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Just like Bitcoin pumping, guess who else pumps? Snap Connect. Snap Connect, uh, first target of a falling wedge is at $13.06. Second target's $15. We're almost there, man. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Who cares if it's Snap Connect, dude? We're talking about, we look at Hot Connect and Pundy Coin and Tron Connect. Snapchat is at least a little better because they advertise and they try to make advertising revenue and they actually provide a good in service like DPix. You can exchange your DPix with your BPix, your BooPix, right? It's, hey, better than what I can do with crypto for now. Go Snapchat on a trade at least. Beautiful. It is beautiful. <sighs> Man. All right. Cheers to everybody for Snapchat hitting the golden zone, the beginning of the golden zone. And the top end of the golden zone is $15, a rounded number. So it could be a very, very good resistance if we get there. Uh, the problem is, though, right, your issue here is kind of bad because you're making these higher highs, slightly higher highs. And do you see the daily divergence? So here's the spike, the gap up on extremely high levels of positive momentum. And here we are, like, making slightly higher highs with almost inexistent positive momentum and it's even worse now you thought hey it couldn't get much worse than that but then it's like we're making higher highs now and we have negative momentum see you're getting like off kilter with your oscillators that's what happens it'll just get so bad and then it'll correct right uh, rsi see higher high, high on price higher high on price slightly higher high on price you also are getting some bearish divergence in the rsi on the daily Time scale. Okay. That's it. So, dude, I miss Rimlog because he was the one that always DJed the lights. Because if you're on Twitch, you know you can change my lights. I mean, I'm going to turn it on. But, dude, I don't know. It's like I'm trying to reach out and influence people positively on Twitch. But uh, there it is. There it is. Go to Twitch if you want it. Oh. Connect my Hue Bridge, dude. I've already connected my Hue Bridge, man. Hold on. Give me a break. Lumia has been uh, really, really buggy lately. I've been having to deal with that. Jeez. Well, I did it. I connected the bridge, man. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Okay, are we good? Yeah, we're good now, dude. We're good now. All right, someone try it on Twitch. Julia, someone? Thanks. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> dude, this is ridiculous, man. All right, uh, so, dude, Snap Connect, unbelievable connect. Old Nano, dude. Nano, uh, we had a patron ask about this earlier today. Old Nano, dude. Good job, man. Bought my first call on this a while back. Thanks, Min Kings and D Picks all day. Dude, yes. Were you around for the analyses of Snap when we looked at it initially? Dude, it was too good, man. And guess, guess what else? What other asset did kind of? A little bit what snapped it. NVIDIA. In inverse head and shoulder pattern. It was not complex. It was simplistic and it was beautiful. 
Measure move hit and beyond. Man, you gotta love these assets. All right. So to me, it seems like we've, uh, we're stalling out. We're stopping. There's some sort of buy wall here. And the reason why these patterns will break to the upside is not really overwhelming demand. It's more so the selling pressure just dries up, right? It just, but eventually what happened, dude, I'm, this is not a bullish pattern. This is a right angled and ascending broadening, broadening formation. All right. And so, uh, this is testament to the buy wall. So like when the, when there's so many buying, uh, orders down here right when your order book is just full of buys the bots everyone else they realize dang dude there's no way we're breaking this buy wall so screw it hands up hands up hands up dude and so uh they throw the white flag you break to the upside then you down some of your consolidation you bounce off 50, uh, 50 day moving average you run again but eventually what happens is right they just keep pushing the price higher eventually you'll fail to break to the top side of this pattern which we already have failed so this could in itself be what we call that it's very close, very, very close. I just did one and two and three. You didn't touch it. We call that the partial rise. And Bulkowski says if you get a partial rise and if you're able to plummet back down, which normally happens, you plummet back down to this buy wall, there's a 70 plus percent chance you will break out bearishly. Now, this may not be the instance or the... This may not be what's happening in this particular situation. We we already talked about what was going on. Uh, we did not interpret it like this initially. We talked about the support resistance, right? You see the magenta lines on the bottom and the top. This was a buy area, a low risk area, high risk area. So uh, we did, someone asked about it when we were on our way down and we got in, like we talked about two different areas of value. So you've got a, a low risk area, but it's not the lowest. The lowest risk area was at 2225. We had an entry there with a stop loss that did not get tapped. Slightly lower than that wick. Never hit it. Ran up and the the exit was around 26.53. Okay, because we saw this candle high close and these wicks. And now it's just critical thinking on our part. So hit it, the entry, and then ran up, hit the exit before dumping. And then when we dumped, fine, you just ran again. You broke out to the upside. And now it seems like you're trying to back test an old resistance as support that's all you're doing nice bullish convergence on both oscillators so there is no impending price action reversal of the downside on the daily time scale which is good so see if you can hold above 2653 should be in good shape to maybe run to the upside again but dude i'm telling you, this pattern is this is a bearish bulkowski pattern dude it's brilliant too it's beautiful it looks fantastic it's got all the makings of a Bulkowski uh, confirmed right angled and ascending broadening formation. Okay. That's pretty cool. If you ask me. No one's changing the lights. Alfonso, dude, hit exclamation mark, whatever color you want. Do it now or be destroyed. Anyone on Twitch, please do it. Because it's, uh, I don't know, I turned it on. I went to the trouble of doing it. Doesn't matter, I guess. Dude, this app keeps bugging out. This app totally keeps bugging out. I keep having to close out of it and reopen it. It's really scrubby. Hold on. Nano connects. There you go, dude. All right. Let's go to Augur. All right, Augur. What exchange was it? Was it Kraken? No, it wasn't Kraken. No, I think it was... Uh... Okay, this is what it was. It was a Binance pair. Or a BTC pair. Sorry. Augur Connect, right? Double bottom. Still have not broken that uh, area. Still not, man. I know you're pivoting. You bullishly engulfed. 
Are you bullishly engulfed and you're trying to break above 4575, but it is not confirmed yet. It is not confirmed as a double bottom until you break this area with a candle close, not stupid wicks. All right. If you can do that, the measure move puts you way up around fi between 5821 and 5953, which is some sort of uh, resistance looking left. All right. I mean, that's the way I'm interpreting it. Other people could look at, oh, descending triangle, whatever you broke out, measure move of that. Dude, it's all good, man. Different interpretations. It's not a big deal. All right. So here's your auger, dude. The double bottom. Adam and Eve, double bottom. The V and the U. And then you get the peak that gives you the discernible two bottoms. And then you run up, and until you break that peak, it is not a valid double bottom. It is not confirmed yet. And it must be broken to be confirmed. It is only a potential double bottom until then. That's it. On auger. Okay. Golden hot pockets. There you go, loco man. There you go. Verge is jumping, Muhammad man. Are you kidding me, dude? Bat is one percent very light. What you talking about, dude? One percent. Did all these vague words and vague phrases. David Jez of ETZ is a total S coin, yet moves more than XRP. Uh, well, dude, let's just, come on, dude. It's having a break to the upside. You know why? Because it's gone through a sell-off that not, like could not be compared to XRP. XRP did not have any kind of sell-off like ETC. ETC is, in, is like near the Mariana Trench. XRP is not near the Mariana Trench. It's holding support way back, dude, from 2017. You think ETC is holding any support from 2017? No, dude, it's been dumping and dumping and dumping tremendously. All right. Oh, Crypto Chef 386, man. Thanks for joining on Twitch, man. Welcome. I know you, dude. I know you, man. I know you. Well, screw this, man. No one's changing the colors. I'll just change the colors for myself. Whatever. I'll just play with myself. I, you know, there, going back to my color. Game of Crypto, thanks for following on Twitch, dude. Kanks, man. Welcome. Welcome. Twitch chat is gluten free. Gluten-free bread, it's there, and no one wants it. I know, Shariba, dude, I know. Dude, y'all are on Twitch, but y'all aren't even doing the exclamation mark, dude. What's going on with that? What the heck? Look at man! Dude, thanks for the sub on Twitch. Unbelievable, dude. Dude, five months in a row now, resub. Thanks, Logan, dude. Love you, dude. Holy crap. We're all typing, but you're doing... Look, dude, this is what you're supposed to do. Red. It was it broken? It might be messed up. I might have to reset it. Show lights. Update lights. Go home. Restarting. It should be completely ready to roll now. There should be nothing else. Stop talking on Twitch and start exclamation marking, dude. I can see it's not working. Are you kidding me? Mother effer, dude. Mother effer, hold on. Oh, I can't believe it, dude. Michael K. The third MK. Thanks so much for joining House Harmonic. Welcome, dude. Welcome. I can't believe this. Dude. Where is this stupid icon? I'm about to destroy this. See, it's saying that it's fixed, but it's not. Just hold on, man. Update lights. Oh, restarting again. It makes literally no sense why it wouldn't work now. Okay, I, I don't have to do it anymore. I'm sorry. It's so dumb. This app sucks, I guess. There we go. It works now. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. It 
excellent. Okay, sorry. What's happening? Oh, we got party lights going, dude? Or is it a light war? Oh, we got a light war going on. Now that it's fixed, okay. It's going insane now, dude. We're in party mode. What's up, Poke Poke Fox, dude? Gaming Crypto, what's so funny, dude? Okay, what's so funny, man? Bitcoin's rising on Binance, man. Roger Hill, let's look at the Bitcoin to US dollar tether pair. We have we've neglected. I'll, I'll tell it. I'll tell it like it is, man. We neglected it. Yeah, you're right. Breaking this up, fifty-one forty-two right now. We actually haven't even uh, updated this right since we we were looking at it for this was the one where we were talking about the wall. We broke the wall, dude. <laughs> Love it, man. The best highlight. If you haven't seen the high, if you hadn't seen what we were explaining, how we explained it, man. All the ascending triangle, man. You got to take a shot. Hey, it's Niber Fox, man. Thanks for Niber Fox 2021, dude. Just want to join on Twitch, dude. Welcome. Welcome, man. Oh, my God. Cayenne pepper. Yeah, that's my favorite color. Did y'all break it? Y'all may have broken the light. I don't know. Oh, hey. Did y'all see Auburn lost? Hilarious, dude. Thank God. I would have not been able to. Dude, it would have sucked so bad. Okay. It worked out. The wall is so busted. Oh, we destroyed the wall. We are the White Walkers, man. We did things, man. We were big kings doing things. Coach Carr gets it, dude. Bada boy. Dude, there's Brandon Green. Oh, my God. Brandon Green. We literally I name dropped you last night because we had like Jack Black, Jack Brown. Uh, and then I was like, do we have like another Jack of another color? But I'm like, no, we have Brandon, uh, Brandon Green, man. All right. We've been on the loop. Moved to Colorado. Dude. Congrats on uh, joining Colorado, man. Dude, the Mile High area. This is weird. This is a weird looking one on the four hour. This is my, oh yeah, you know why? <laughs> of course, this is why it's weird. Because it's the same thing. It's a parallel channel that is upsloping. All right. Beauti look at how beautiful it's, dude. I'm telling you, South Koreans, man, they care about TA more than anybody. They care about TA as much as me, man. Just got some crazy ominous thunder after I said that. Okay. <laughs> we had the uh the heart line sold off and now we're bullish bullishly harami ing yes in and in guy thanks for following on twitch dude kingsman welcome all the twitch folks i'm sure it's some of y'all joining from youtube i guess i don't know so anyway um but you get it right now you could plot that down something trend line one and two for the anger points and you can see that that's what's weird looking because it looks very normal as an absolute flag, but the triangle, meh, kind of weird. So I like both. If we broke the upside, the uh, target's like 5,500, 5,550, 5,600, but I don't know if we'll get there, man. I'd love to see it. It would make so much sense because we, get, we could get a lot of bearish divergence. Bearish divergence is exactly what we'd want on four-hour time scale for a... Uh, for more reason to believe or more indication to believe that we'd be breaking to the downside and it would just give us more confidence man we don't have that much confidence right now but we do believe since the impulse is so fresh that we're not done and the fact that there's such little resistance above us until 5800 we're probably not done that's it man all right Okay, sorry. 
I'm do Ow. Ow. I'm doing things. My bad. That hurt really bad. Oh, oh, oh everyone's bringing up uh, Ethereum Classic. The Who Cares coin that broke out of the symmetrical triangle that uh, could be running. Uh, did we get there, though? Did we get there, really? Uh... It Turbo Man, oh my god, it's Turbo Man. I've had it up to here with Turbo Man, dude. You gotta be kidding me, man. Another, just add another celebrity to the bucket list of so many followers that we have, all right? We got Elon Musk. We got Count Chocula. We got many others. I, I don't know, man. Jack Black, we got them all, dude. Now we got Turbo Man, dude. This is the best night of my life. Seriously, dude, Jingle All the Way, man. I love, I loved or love Jingle All the Way, man. All right. It's like my favorite Christmas movie. I mean, I don't know, dude. Home Alone's like probably my favorite of all time. But like Jingle All the Way really, really was good for me. I was really young. It got me and I, I was definitely into it, man. Call me nerdy. Call me scrubby. But that's it. Anyway, oh my God, dude. Oh my God, Ethereum Classic, look at this. I'm, I'm serious. Oh, would you look at that? We're almost there, baby. We're all most there. Can you even believe it, dude? I don't think you can, man. I think you say, I can't believe it and I never freaking will. Measure move, what? Seven dollars on the dot talked about in the day stream today. Where are we at? Six dollars eighty three cents. Give me a break. In the golden zone. In the golden zone. Five eighty five to seven forty five. Here we are, surpassing the fifty percent retrace on ETC to USDT. Let's go, baby. I mean, this is beautiful, dude. Beautiful measure move. Come on. Volkowski would be so proud right now. I can't believe this, dude. So nice. If Al an Alabama team would have gone to the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, you wouldn't want to live life no more. <laughs> Get wrecked, Michael, dude. Get wrecked, dude. Unreal. Here's your respect to TA. They do, man. They certainly do. Yeah, where's Maya Maya? Hey, Maya Maya was the one who said 4,200 by uh, yesterday, by today, by like morning of to the day we've had today. All right. Jingle All the Way was your jam when you were younger, Rick Schmitz. Me and you both, dude. We'll get drunk next Christmas, drink eggnogs, and wash it, dude. Rick, man. Nulls to DT. Come on, dude. You'll need to check out Nulls on the one day. I'm lucky. Cheers. Dude, what's wrong with BTC pair, man? Oh, okay, man. Yeah, dude, it's like scrubtastic. Scrubtastic and turning into kanks. Yes. Yes. But I don't know, man. I don't know about... There's just such little data on this pair, okay? Yeah, such little data on nulls. Look, I don't really know how else you could do this, man. Look. All right, so uh, one and two on the bottom, three on the top. Whew, excuse me. Nice break of the upside. Uh, no real divergence yet. You've, uh, man. Your 20 days bullishly crossed over the 200 and you keep this price action consistent. I don't even think it matters at this point. No matter what you do, you know, you sell off down to 20, you're still going to be getting a golden, a daily golden cross. It's going to be very nice, man. But you are not out of the neck of the woods in my opinion, right? I mean, you get the 50% or the heart line is resistance, support, resistance. I don't know. I don't really know how valid this equidistant channel is, but it contains all the price action within the channel, and it all kind of lines up. So uh, I think you're not really kings until you break above one dollar and fifteen cents. All right, there you go, dude. I mean, is this really a discernible swing? I, I guess we could plot it the exact same way we try to plot Bitcoin and all the others. I mean, is it really from here to here? All right, seven, eight, six retrace, seventy percent. So the deep, deep retrace. One dollar. Good God, talk about a rounded number, psychological resistance. One dollar. Yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck breaking that. Okay. 
So just stimming it like we would Bitcoin and it's a uh, very deep retrace. But the thing is, what's crazy is there's no bearish divergence on the daily. That's what's nuts, dude. So uh, Rick, man, thanks again, dude, for the, what was that, 333? Yeah, things are 333, man. Repeating, of course, kinks. All right, awesome. Man, this is such a good beer, dude. I think it's Michigan. What is it? Bells. Bells Brewery. Yeah, Bells. Yeah, Michigan, dude. My memory did not betray me. It's wonderful. Yeah, okay, dude. Fazon King, that's like crazy, dude. Crazy to say ETC 14. Now, maybe at one time, not anymore. Not after the fiasco with the scrubs, right? Not anymore. Holy crap, dude. Thanks so much for the 240 people tuned in right now on YouTube. I think we got the... How many, I don't even know how many people on, on Twitch, dude. Just multiple people on Twitch. Welcome. Let's get a like or a like spike. Yeah, ETC scum. I agree. Kind of. I mean, for the most part. You have to understand, like, Ethereum Classic was the original Ethereum, but they pawned it off as Ethereum Classic, dude. Because the Vitalik had to, like had to centralize ethereum at the time because it had been compromised with a hack and so they they said screw it we'll centralize it throw it out we'll call it ethereum classic that's like legit what they did dude it's so stupid okay though life is all about distraction and managing distractions is it not chat the two-hearted bells uh it's the two-hearted double or just the two-hearted ipa i believe right coinbase check what happened for what you talking about dude Uh, Sanford and Noss, well, you do know I have a Patreon that does trade setups, right? So, but to be really nice, hot's pretty good. Hot's pretty decent, man. That's kind of like the freebie, I, I guess you want to call it that. Hot's been, it has the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> you want to call it that, dude? Rosentos, man. Is that a joint? LTC and DTH look at. This is great crypto. Dollar bills, face and beer, beer. How would you look at that? Dude, it's way too quiet, man. Hold on, let me open this up. Real... Does anyone know why on Windows 10, sometimes when you close out an application, it will not? It's all, it's saved to your pen, your to your taskbar, and then it will disappear sometimes. It's so stupid. Uh, hold on. I gotta turn this up, man. It's really annoying. I'm gonna try it now. Oh, would you look at that? Perfect, dude. Perfect decibel levels now. All right. <sighs> Did you say you wanted to look at Litecoin to Ethereum? We've looked at that. I have that charted, I believe. I knew it. Yeah, dude, you want to see Litecoin to Ethereum? We'll just look at it, dude, and then we'll play it again. All right, I'm about to click on it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god, the rising wedge, the inherently bearish pattern, broke to the upside and has hit, and only hit, the measure movement as we have not seen any prices higher than that. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I have to break the seal, though, like really bad. I'm like, yeah. Dude, I've been live. Give me a break, dude. I've been live for an hour and 44 minutes now, okay? So just everyone relax. It's going to be okay. Mess with the lights. Look at all the glory and wonder of the light one to Ethereum pair as it hits the measure move light to Jesus men and it's extremely overbought at 85, 86 on the RSI. Okay, that's all we need to do, man. Thanks so much. I'll be right back, y'all. Hold tight.
All right, I'm back. Sorry. I mean, look, man, what do you want me to do? Like, I have to break the seal. I, I have things. I stream seven days a week, right? I create content seven days a week. So it's just like, you know, if I'm live and then like I get distracted, you know me when I'm in overdrive, when I'm like not distracted. So it's okay. It's got to be okay, right? Is probes to your man? Oh, no, seriously. Billions on billions, can he be? Yeah, dude, whatever that means, dude. Totally. XVG is like fun. Kind of, yeah, I think fun is kind of set up similarly to XVG, uh, technically, yes. Yes. So here's the, again, Litecoin to Ethereum pair, the rising wedge breakout to the upside, measure move hit like Kangs, and not any higher than that. All right. Oh, hey, I'm at the Hampton Inn, man. I'm at a hotel, dude, with these lights. This is the cool lighting. All right. Don't leave us. Stay online 24 7. Can you be? All right. Three, two, one. Here it comes. There's your one spinning kappa. You are allotted, allotted one spinning kappa per stream. All right. It's happening. The kappas. The light war that is ha happening right now. Greg Morgan, man. Dude. Are we still doing crypto for charts? 
Have you looked at the USDT, sir? Uh, no, sir. I have not, but I can. I can. Right about now. <laughs> beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Well, man. I'll tell you this. I know we've uh, analyzed this much more deeply. I can't remember. I think this is maybe outdated. I think I was maybe using Bitfinex or something. High to low. Where are we? 382. The beginning of the freaking golden sun, man. Come on, dude. Greg Mann, though we've hit the measure move, we've gone beyond it because of reasons. Reasons that have only to do with retracing. Retracing to levels. And the Golden Cross, Greg Mann, thanks so much, dude, because not only did you tip me, you also put me on a chart that's showing a Golden Cross as we speak, where your 50 day moving average bullishly crosses over your 200 day moving average. Fantastic. There it is. But look at all the rejection at this Fib node at 9.243 cents. One, two, three, four, five. What is it? Just four. Yeah, okay, we got four. Four rejection wicks so far. That's pretty lit, man. Right, Greg? It's pretty awesome. I mean, like, the fact, no, it's not awesome. That, oh my God, only a moon boy would say that's not awesome because it's awesome because we understand what we've done. If you understand technical analysis and how to read charts, this is a great feat. This is a big deal, man. This is us respecting, and that's the whole. That's why one the slogan is respect the TA because respecting the TA is when you go from an, a high to a major discernible swing high on the daily to the low point, and you hit the 38% retrace after you've broken out of a consolidation pattern, which happened to be a symmetrical triangle, right? It is impressive. It is fantastic when you hit it even. Just the 382 and only hit the 382. That to me, I'm impressed and very happy about ADA. All right, that's it, dude. That's it. Ollie, of course, we looked at XRP. XRP was the name of the title of the stream, so therefore I looked at it first. All right, dude, remember that. Okay, did anyone get anything out of that? 88 US dollar tether, Greg Morgan, 1941. That is correct. Wait, why are you even here, Greg? Cab up, right? 88 is a town in Oklahoma. Is it really? A da? Is it a da? Is it near Admore? Montana, man! Nothing to say, just waiting on my horse. What kind of horse, dude? Wait. Wait, Montana, are you passively aggressively asking for something, dude? Because. Alright, dude. You asked for it in a most passively aggressive way, and it's okay. You don't have to admit it, dude. You really don't have to admit it. Montana's what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, that's why. Thanks for joining on Twitch, man. Kings. Wonderful. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rain. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy the sights and the sounds of the technical analysis. Hit that like button, that bell, that sub if you're enjoying the live stream. Live stream, we've been live an hour and 54 minutes now. 
and get another beer. Hold tight. DJ man, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but uh, remember the 200. The sorry, the Golden Cross is a lagging indicator, and in particular context, it's not that great. And this is one of those contexts. It doesn't seem that special to me, man. The reason being, on the daily, you are in a downtrend, right? I know you're making higher lows, but you're making lower highs, and you're there's a there's a buy wall gulping up all the shares, and one could argue and say that we now have three reaction highs two reaction lows we have a decent a huge descending triangle and we just can't we try to break this down sloping insane resistance we can't even come close man Julia. is this thing on <sighs> thank god it might be not it might not be based on that because normally we're getting screwed on the chug variation and i'm just getting wrecked uh I'm just getting wrecked on the first shot, right? Every time someone tips 33, 33, it's like, BJ ain't doing things, and I'm screwed, right? John Belushi, or, yep, John Belushi uh, variable or variation. So this uh, particular situation, DGB to BTC, doesn't look that great because you can see the descending triangle looks at your impulse of descending triangle, so that means we have uh, extreme distribution going on with one scrub by wall. Flip it upside down, right? Accumulation. Multiple levels of accumulation with one cell wall. The accumulation will destroy this cell wall soon. Too many people getting in on this, right? Sorry, inverse. It's not that great. Descending triangle is going on right now. But hey, man, congratulations. If you can break above 350-something sats, then you have to break above uh, 420 sats. Is that a joint? Then you have to go even higher. You got to break above each one consistently, these previous highs. So not going to be easy, man. Not going to be easy at all. Thanks to Montana, the whole dynamic in Meta has shifted. Sorry, it's your fault, Montana. Blame Montana. Dude, is this bugged out? 
I think it's on the slow version, I don't know. I feel like, you know? Am I crazy, dudes? I heard the song a billion times and it seems much slower, and I think that's because we get away with not getting the stream taken down. Okay, I think that's literally what it is. Get this out of here, pinch me. Sorry. I might be crazy, dude. I don't know. It's okay either way. It's not bad. CCR, baby. A little uh, clear credence. What is it? Clear. Yeah, credence, clear water, revival. All right. John Doe, you would be waiting for that, man. It's okay. Dude, I'm so behind on chat, I don't even know where to begin, all right? Xanadu, a green-gray color that comes from a plant known as the philodendron. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, restream is stupid. It's like broken, dude. All right. Good God. Sean, you like the song? Good. Glad to hear it, dude. I'm so behind, I don't even know where to begin. $100, of course, is a, it's not an important number just for Litecoin, Roger. It's an important number for every single asset that exists on any market, dude. A crazy, crazy rounded number. All right. Dude, Restream is so stupid, and, and I can't do anything about it. I've uninstalled it three times now and reinstalled it. But on my laptop, my super laptop, it works beautifully. Like, no problems. Right, anytime someone posts something it pops up on here, it's like, eh, I'm stupid, I can't do it. 10 messages at the same time. Ugh. And then like I can't scroll down because it's frozen. I, I actually, they, they they said, hey, you want to send feedback about Restream? I was like, yeah, it sucks, dude. It's pathetically trash now, all right? I've been using it for 15 months. Whatever. Kiki, what's up, dude? Everyone stop talking about golden showers. It's not... The place to be talking about that. Whoa. Bodhi or Sensei. Bodhi or Sensei. Is that what they say? CNBC did a bunch of segments on Bitcoin this week. Media sensationalists are coming back. Eh, effectless. I don't know, man. It's. Who cares? Yeah. All the scrubs are back, dude. All the scrub YouTubers, all the scrub CNBC people that are like, oh, Bitcoin probably upside. We're reactive. We're reactive. We were. How how were we, man? We were like, yeah, dude, this seems like the area where we should retrace to for two and a half months. But hey, we'll throw in a few m amazing, ungodly trade setups before we get there. We'll do that, man. And they're back. They're all back now. Fair weather scrubs. All right. Screw them. Thanks. Not, not physically. Just, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Screw them in some certain way. Uh, Turbo Man. Oh my god, Turbo Man. Hey man, just wanted to say thank you for all that you do. Home Alone and Jingle All the Way are my favorite Christmas films too. I salute you and all your hard work. It's Turbo, it's turbo Time! Hey, Zachary, can we get a sound clip so I can put on the stream deck, man? It's Turbo Man. Turbo, no, oh, no, I want... I've had it up to here with Turbo Man. That's what I want is a sound clip. I will play that every day until Christmas. Alright. Seriously, dude. Thanks, Turbo Man, for uh, chiming in, man. Thanks for all your support, dude. Okay. Glad you found me. DJ Theory, thank you, dude. All right. I'm sorry. It sucks, dude. I'm sorry. It's really just not that great. Let's go ahead to Bitcoin real quick. Unless I've lost my mind. And I'm missing something. Dude, we did education tonight. We did education on divergence. Give me a break, man. I mean, what more could one want? I'm just saying, dude. Give me a audio level check to sound good. Mic balance to music balance. Thanks. Rod Santos, man. Take a look at LTC and DTH short term opinion. Oh, you want to go back? Would you like to go back, dude? We can go back right now. What? This is a kind of tomo, man. Hey, I fixed the bug. Bottomless kings means winning trade with no pants. <laughs> winning trades with no pants. Dude, I have pants on, dude. Dude, these are Ralph Lauren, dude. Give me a break, man. Come on. Dude, these are Ralph Lauren pants, dude. Okay. Well, yeah, I get it. Yeah, short pants. 
not khakis, kappa, khakis, or jeans. I get it, man. My dad makes the same joke, too. He makes the same joke. Like, so you're trading in your underwear. It's like, I'm not in my underwear, dude. Chat, let it be known. I don't, I've only streamed maybe like three or four times in my underwear before, okay? And it was because I was being very rushed. <sighs> I'm just saying. I'm just being honest, right? Would you prefer that your content creator, the streamer that you watch, talks about honestly, openly, that he has streamed three to four times in his career? Dude, we're talking like over 600, 700 live streams. I've only streamed three to four times in my underwear, all right? That's pretty good. Pretty good win rate there. I'm just saying. Anyway. Do you understand? Do you get it, dude? Hold on. What happened? Why, why is this happening? Give me my music. Hold on. I'm distracted. Ooh. Excuse me. What was the one? What was the song? What was the song? Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Is it the Hollies? It is the Hollies. Gosh, it's such a short song. Yes, I love this song, dude. Classic rock. There that app goes, bugging out again. It's freezing. this song you know you like it but unfortunately it's just such a and I'm, sc I'm scared now we're getting back into these classic rock songs that are like really popular and then that's when you deal with the recording artists and that's like when it's like hey will your stream get taken down it may or may not get taken down it definitely might or might not all right Tobo man exactly dude this one's talking about Restream is on crack. Thank you, Restream, for sucking so much. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. All right. And again, it's so stupid. Like, Restream's so dumb. Like, you'll post, like, emojis on YouTube, and it, like, it, you see what it does. It, like, will spam gaming.youtube.com slash s slash gaming emoji. Like, so dumb. <laughs> We're bringing back a lot of memories, Billy, man. We gotta do this thing, dude. Dude, I'm sorry. I like music, man. I like good music. Did my grandpa play it a lot? Nah, dude. No, I actually learned this song when I was watching the movie Remember the Titans when I was in middle school. That's it, dude. And I fell in love with it. All right? Get out of here, dude. What's up, Crypto Cash? Dude, what happened? How can we change the lights in the background? A exclamation mark and then a color. Turbo Man, unless it's broken, and sometimes it does break and I have to reset it. Can someone test this real quick? Hurry, because I feel like it's broken, dude. You want to see the boat shoes? They're downstairs, dude. They're actually, I, I, I evolved. I used to use boat shoes. I really did used to have boat shoes all the time, and, and, and uh, I actually now I only use driving shoes. Tennis shoes and driving shoes. Alright. There is a distinct difference because of the, it's like the cleatage of the bottom there's not cleats but i'm saying the rubber cleatage that's what makes the driving shoes so nice when ivan pants iblb what you talking about homie dude only wearing a, a shirt on stream dude i've never ever streamed without at least underwear on okay so give me a break 
which scrub is pumping Ethereum Classic. Re. <laughs> yeah, Julia read my mind. Oh my God. Always shirtless is too dang hot. No, we wouldn't get any work done. No, you wouldn't want to see my shirt on. I mean, it's good. It's nice. It is nice. But I'd lose a lot of integrity probably doing that because then I'd be just a glorified stripper. You'd be like, oh my God. No, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's just, I can't sell out, dude. I can't do it, man. What's up, Loot Patient, dude? See, this one's saying the song ended and now I'm scared. I'm scared to put on other good music in the, from the same genre because of stupid uh, recording art, artists, all right? That's, that's it, dude. Super scary. Gosh dang it, man. Too many good songs that we cannot play. The stakes are too high now, man. We're, we're almost at 10,000 views per day now on the channel. It, <laughs> so you can't even risk it, man. You just can't. It sucks. We can play a song from East Mountain Down, though. It's not bad. It's not bad, dude. Like, I like it. It speaks to me. It's just not that great. It's okay. It's good. Yeah, well, dude, I can't just be shirtless, fegless, dude. Okay? I need to be substance. I need to be 95% substance and then 5% style. Alright, that's... That's like, uh, what's his name? Who's my mom, dude? Tony Robbins. That's Tony Robbins, dude. Be, be all style until you open your mouth and then you're all what substance. What does re mean, ha ha? What does re mean? It means triggered. I make it. I can't handle it. Montana, man. Thanks for the 20 contribution to Kangs. Oh my God. Thanks, man. gonna assume no pants go ahead people, other people have already assumed it there's a cult here that already assumes they don't wear pants every day how's the rising sun yet yeah, okay let me go ahead and just get banned all right hold on dude restream just freezes dude so i'm like stuck in limbo for like 10 seconds every five seconds all right sorry it's like vocals so it's tough is someone rigging the ETC market? Dude, no, no, we're, no one's rigging the market. We're just heading towards the measured move of the symmetrical triangle, the breakout, dude. Give me a break. Love you, Jimmy Shad, man. Thanks, dude. No, restream does suck, dude. That. D picks. So does Snap. Snap does that too. My man. Was that a joint? It was the best. He's found and down was legit. It was so good, man, because it was like a comedy. But dude, they brought it back home, didn't they? They brought it back home, and it, and some of the ends of the episodes, you're just like looking at your, you're looking down, and you're just like thinking about your own life. You're introspective at the at the end of a lot of those episodes, dude. And the way they did it, because the southernness, it connected with me so much, because you had like the steel guitar playing and stuff. Man, it would like get me, dude. I love Eastbound and Down. I freaking it's like one of my favorite shows of all time. All right, the life, dude. Lars is listening at the door. Julia will protect me. Gosh dang it. Protect me. Oh my god. Chain link 1k into a year again. Kangs, dude. The tip app is messed up, Rod Santos. What you mean, man? What do you mean the tip app is messed up? That doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Fairweather scrubs deserve to get wrecked. Exactly. Yes. Flops row, you gotta be in North Carolina. I don't think so, man. Central Alabama. And I'm sorry, I went through my formative years in Tuscaloosa at the University of Alabama. Okay, so, correct. Dude, I So I'm just scrolling through Restream and then it just freezes. This is like every, literally every 10 seconds now. ETC really big, yeah. Yeah, dude, it's so big. Oh my god. 
Yep, my encoder, decoder, whatever it is has a bad time. Screen keeps glitching. Yep, nope, Artsy, you're right, man. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, I've said it twice now. My, I, dude, you turn on your PC, OBS pops up, you turn it on, you're about to do a static video, and then, like, it's like, hey, would you like to do an update? And you're like, no, nah, skip for now, because I'm kind of busy, man. And then it's like, Bleh. And then it, like, goes all the way back to default settings, and you're just like, what the am I supposed to do now? Now I'm like, everything's bugged out. Like, everything's glitching and crap. Okay. And I talked about it earlier in the stream, man. It's like, dude, the when you start being a complex streamer, like, high production value, I guess. High production value. Some would joke about it. The complexity. So that means, there is complexity involved. So that means, like, there's even more reason to believe something's going to break or bug out every day. And in almost every day, there's some sort of variable that's messed up. Like legit, it's almost every day one thing or another is broken or breaks or messes up, dude. Seriously. Dude, you realize like stream elements, the most recent level of adversity till today, until the glitching of the OBS, was my stream elements. It randomly, AP, everything I did methodically implementing new emoji balls into the jar. It just randomly overnight switched and became a Twitch API for no reason. And they've never heard of it in their entire lives. But we are living proof that we are the first person to ever experience this kind of issue. Okay. They don't even have an idea. They're just like, you just have to start over. It's like, okay, F you. Thanks so much for the help, dude. I, I knew that. Because guess what? Every time I go to them for help, they just say, just delete it and restart it, dude. They're not really helpful. They're just scrubs, dude. Okay? Thanks for the help, dude. Stream elements. Seriously, man. That's like story of my life, man, with, with streaming. Complexity with streaming. All right? It's just... Okay. I think I'm about to get out of here. Okay, I've been like two hours, 16 minutes, man. I got to... Dude, it's like beyond midnight for me okay it's like 1 15 a.m eastern <sighs> my god okay another change up <clears throat> i'll still run down real quick DJ Theory, thanks so much for the uh, 420 of Bitcoin. Greg Morgan, thanks for the Litecoin, dude. Dude, Randall Knapp, I don't know why I didn't show up, dude, but thank you so much for the Patreon pledge, dude. Is that 108? Oh my god. Am I out of my mind? Dude, yes! Randall, Randall K, man, thank you so much for the being becoming the 108th patron. Because of people like you, I'm able to come back every day and produce content. And I'm able to help give guidance in this crazy, crazy market. Or these multiple crazy markets, right? Thank you, Randall, man. Randall, the, I think you're the crypto man. King Logan, dude, thanks so much for the sub, I believe, right? Rod Santos, man. Have LTC slash USDT Binance at $74. Where would you set you stop loss at the always moment? You have it there. Well, give me a second. Give me a sec, because I don't even think I have that charted. Hmm. 74 bucks, dude. Man, 96 bucks, dude. $100. These are areas where you take most of your profit, dude. I'm sorry, dude, but we went from $22 to $100. The 382 is $100. Stop loss. Think about... Have you not taken any profit yet? $100 is an extremely, extremely huge resistance. And we're double topping. And on our second top that is technically higher than the previous high. Do you see this? On the double top, I get we're standing above the 20, that's great. But it's a slightly higher high than the previous high. And you have negative momentum with bearish divergence on the RS side. This thing will be selling off soon. I don't know, man. If you're in a 74, dude. All right, this is you. This is Rod. This thing could easily just come straight back down to that area. 
light and you could lose everything at all your gains dude you're double topping with negative momentum on the slightly higher high that is class a plus bearish divergence with bearish divergence for real on the rsi high slightly high lower levels relative strength dude like if you were in the you're saying like i'm in at 22 dollars okay it might be a different story but dude you could lose all your gains tomorrow you could literally based on this technical analysis right here you could lose all your gains real quick you're only holding up by the 20 moving average in the four hour stop loss uh 89 70 something 88 or 87 72 falling below this 20 moving average you're going straight down to 75 bucks through that 50 ma i get it though i get it right oh well bitcoin is uh bitcoin's gonna run to the upside well dude you're a really high risk areas right now and, and i don't have enough data on bitcoin to say the impending price action versus the downside's coming so bitcoin could break to the upside so litecoin could break to the upside one more time whatever stop below dude i'm telling you like 87 bucks man you don't want to fall below that 20 moving hours in the four hour dude that's so bad because you could just go straight down to your you lose 20 bucks in a day it is litecoin it is crypto please understand the volatility involved with this market is extreme so 20 bucks in a day not a big deal when the rug gets pulled and this is the type of stuff these are all the makings of the varsity athlete for the rug getting pulled right here this type of stuff down here is perfect and primed for it just be careful, man, please. I know there might be a little bit more upside potential in the short term, midterm. You could wipe out all the gains. You said 74, so that means you've been in pretty much since April 2nd. So you've been in for five days. In a day, it could get wiped out. That's it, dude, straight up. All right, thanks, man, for the big uh, seven, dude. $7 contribution, much love, man. Really appreciate it. So, Rod, thanks for the seven, dude. Montana, thank you for all the 420s. Love you, man. All the support means everything, dude. Every day, day in, day out, you got my back, man. And I really appreciate it, Montana, more than you know, dude. I wish I could articulate my gratefulness. Thank you, dude. My gratitude, I guess you could say. Sakoshi, man. Julia. Rick, dude. Crypto Chef. Potter. Barry Switzer, which is Billy. Oh, my God. Doxed. Kappa. Matt Schaffer, dude. Multiple Matt Schaffer, dude multiple montanas kills for a living oh that's it that's it thank y'all so much for the contributions the new patrons i freaking love y'all okay i'll be back tomorrow sometime y'all are incredible really are you give me purpose in this world see you next time until then respect the tea hey
Turtles. That boy is good. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs>